What is up guys, Son of Beast here. As you can see, I have this graduation sign uh, on, in the inside right now. And uh, it's right now here sitting right next to the wall. So uh, we don't have any room here for the garage. But you can also check out the pennant flags right there too, just in case. But, we're going to see what the cars are about. It'll be right up next after this. Each cars right here are showing you some head-to-head -head competitor matchups right from above the line. As I pick that now, this is going to be the shoutouts that's going to be um, some big test here for the event. This is the double dual jumper to see which car could win across the, the catcher. One car heads onward and advances, and the other car falls to the bungee. Now, two cars are going to do right now. They're going to hit the, hit the launcher. They're going to come right up the ramp. Then they're going to come right up to the catcher right here. And this is where it's going to be. So the car that gets first per, that gets the first catch lands safely and across to the track wins and the other drops and this is the trigger where it, where it was at if the other car falls to the ground to the bungee so yeah I haven't done this one yet so it's kind of very hard to say right here and also remember because if I usually set up this way this is where it will drop down to the bottom and here are those cars that I have selected to check this out from here. Now, if you ever get a shout out by Race Grooves, you may do so because he's got a lot of the uh, videos to get there as quickly as done as possible. Some of them are fantasy cars and some of them are already street speed demon. Um, one of each cars showing you one of the best sit situation going here. New cars, same cars. It's a big old plan. As you can see right now, everything's going looking very good here. But we're going to see which one will be moving on to the next round. New models, you got it. If you have the same car like you had, no worries. There's a lot more that you can stand about to give another person to get from here. Now the way it works, it will be, uh, it will be two launchers. Once it comes up here... It will come up right through the spiral that will spin very fast right down the lane. You have to wait until the uh, until it reaches to the bottom before it hits to the ground so the cars will launch. If you go too soon, this one will will uh, will let the car it will fly out and then it will uh, get crashed right here. We're doing um, the same thing and then the other car will be the winner. You don't want that to happen, right? Anyway, let's let's see what the matchups are gonna be, and I will uh, and I will set things up and see what we've got. All cars are lined up right now. Everything's going very good, so I'll go ahead and uh, get ready to start. So this is how we're going to see who will be the first one to head to the next round. So let's get this thing on the roll. Starting with heat number one. You're so fast versus GT Hunter. You're so fast came in the set right here, but let's find out what he will do. And I had pushed back two notches. I'm gonna leave it like that. If it's three or four, then I'll be too much to extend right all the way through, and I might be too high up to come from the launch. So I'm gonna leave two just for now. Here we go. Oh, didn't quite make it that jump. Let's try again. All right, let's go ahead and bring it back. A little, little bit, a little bit more, a uh, little bit more speed, in case. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Zach, let's go to the ground. Hmm, I don't know what's happening. Sometimes this this spinner 
Might be, might be inching out a bit. I don't know why. Let's do it that time. That that could be a problem right now. Does this your set uh come on angle? I don't know. Here we go. Hey, you're so fast makes it through. Alright, here we go. Next uh Next competitors up, we have is Bulletproof versus Imparable. Let's see, uh, let's see which car has one. Imparable is kind of neat, like a motorcycle. Let's see what it is. Imparable making it through. On to the next. Next competitor matchup, Nitro Tailgater versus Soul Plow. Kind of look like a, uh, a snow truck carrying some snow and pushing it all the way across from it. He might be alright. From the end case of Serpent, he does. Let's see what he can do. Try again. It was a little bit odd. Go! Nitro Tailgater! Oh, he gets fancy to go in from backward here. Clear Speeder versus Speed Box. Oh! Clear Speeder goes down! Speed Box advances! Clear speeder right here. I think he was back from the PK2014 section here. You guys know if you guys remember this one. If Clear Speeder was the best uh, performance doing for the P case, then he might know that he was in the 2014 track time of P case assortment. This guy, so plowed, M case 2014. And this one, B case 2014. Now let's go ahead and make another matchup. Metaville versus Cloud Cutter. Cloud Cutter, I should say. That's not right. A little bit of messing up already. Go. Oh, nobody made that jump, but we're gonna try this one again. Alright, Metaville and uh, Cloud Cutter need to start sketching up a bit. I think Metaville, he's a little bit high up already. I don't know if it, I don't know if the launch is not gonna uh, fit fit on this guy. Oh, oh! I think that somebody snuck it ahead first. So that means right down there, that's Cloud Cutter. Yep, he made here first before uh, Metaville was there. Yep, sorry, sorry Metaville, you're out of here. Next up, Big Rig versus Bitlum. A little crazy. I'm just gonna put him on. Uh, on a stand right now. I'm just gonna see if uh, if he stands on a peg. Yeah, he works. Look at that. Fantastic. I'm gonna see if uh, for this time I'm gonna see uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out if um, if this peg will work. Here we go. Let's see if he stays on. He might have. He might be fun. Let's give it a try. Say. Go. Hey, Think Rig just made it through, and Bedlam gets weird ended. We're gonna check that slow mo one more time for Bedlam and see what the problem is.
It's Luke Coop versus Stalker. Ooh, Stalker just puts it out on Loop Coop. Could do fancy cars. A little bit of uh, daredeviling going on. Maximum leeway versus power pistons. A little shiny chrome here. Chrome racer series. I might see if you can get there. Here we go. That didn't work. <laughs> it looks like Power Pistons went up here first, so... Yeah, forward's no good. Let's try backwards. Those two are having a hard time because of um, this guy right here, Max on Leeway. He's a little bit high up. Same thing with Power Pistons. That happened too. Okay, put it back up. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Maximum leeway just came here first. Power pistons, a little disappointing. Tone versus Carbonic. Oh, Carbonic takes a swing and a miss on the catcher. So that means Muscle Tone moves on. Let's go versus Gear Animal. Wait. Is that the same guy? Oh come on! I thought this I thought Big Rig is more important to, to, to sit on. Well, let's find out what he does on the on the mine mini car. Oh he flies off the uh he flies off this uh if he flies off the vehicle, <laughs> let's go always makes it go on here. I don't know what's going on with Geronimo. It looks like he's like flying off here too. Let's go moves on. It's fast feline versus the uh, the other rat car. Well last time it's now called, it was officially called as uh, Bad Ratitude uh, in 2015. But right now it has been changed. New for 2020, Radical Racer. So we're just going to leave it off with the name uh, Bad Ratitude because he, I don't know. Well, we'll see. I may have to talk to Mark and say, do I have to name Radical Racer or Bad Ratitude? I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see about that. So, but the, but the new name I'm going to say is Radical Racer. Yep. Feel, fast Feline versus Radical Racer. Here we go. Oh, they were snuffed up in each other. I think Radical Racer got up here first. I think we need, we need to try this again. Fast feed line kind of look fancy. I don't think, yeah, the launcher's not doing too good already. I don't know what's going on with fast feed line. Hmm. It's snucked up on the bottom here. I don't know what that. I don't know what that is used for. Here we go. Let's see what it be. Oh, bad attitude just got lucky. Yep. Forward won't count. Let's go with backwards. Not working too good with those two guys. Radical Racer and, uh, and Fast Feline. But now let's see what the backward is. That didn't work alright. I guess it didn't work either. What's going on? Hmm, I don't know what's going on right now. Hmm. This is very odd. We'll just leave it off with that. Set. Go. Oh, fast 
Feline just puts it in, and he goes to the next round while Radical Racer goes out of control. Rick Storm versus the Super Van. Yeah, we know about that one here. Um, Super Van, he was from the JK's track time in 2014. You guys remember that? And uh, Rick Storm, right down there on the right side. He's from, on the left side, he's from the 2014 K-Case track time. He knows that one here pretty too. Let's see which, uh, which truck or van. I don't know which one's going to be. Well, 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 let's see. <laughs> well, let's find out. Here we go. New model. Hmm. Of course it is. Hey, he's stuck up there. What's going on? Rick Storm, he's just going to hang here before, before the next car goes. Tomb Up versus Cloak and Dagger. Let's check out the Cloak and Dagger. Very nice, uh, very nice touch with the cloak. And check the part of the inside of a body as you as you take this off on the outside of it, on the side. Check this out. You pop this off, and there's the dagger right inside. This is the this is the body right inside. So let's go ahead and put it back on. Now, hopeful. I don't know about cloak and dagger. Uh, cloak and dagger might be off the tarp, off the car off the line before. I don't know if he's going to be able to hang on that well. Tomb Up could be easy too. Well, let's see what Cloak and Dagger has. He might have a shield protector to put it on Tomb Up. Here we go. Oh, they're neck and neck each other right from the ramp. Maybe a little more power for those guys. Let's see which guy. Let's see which one can do first. Okay. They're trying to battle up in the ramp here. Who what? Who, who doesn't like to get off? Who doesn't like to get off the ramp and get going down on a bungee? I don't know. Here we go. Oh, what's going on? All right, well, I think the four four might be too much power to put up for those two guys. Yeah, I think that's too much power. Let's put it back on three. Cloak and Dagger, are you sure about that? I don't know if you're going to stake it up already. Here we go. Let's see who takes it. Oh, nobody makes a ramp. Let's go put it backwards. Wait a second. I think Cloak is not... He's not in Cloak at the real. I think... Oh, the Dagger. I think... Uh, I think he keeps it off from the side here. I think he might be flying just fine. He's a little skinny though. I wonder if he could do it. Oh, he's like trying to put a smack on him. Alright, last one. If nobody makes a ramp, that means one that means one will move on. A little battling going on, jeez. Go. Cool. Well, the last call was three times on two was cloak and dagger, but Tuma never regrets it. That means cloak and dagger will go ahead and take himself to the next take a look from his next round. As I will take it from the side. Get out of here, Tuma. I'm sorry. That's all you've got. All right. Here we go.
go. It's the battle between the fish and the bug. Evil Weevil. I'm not sure about how, how you get this uh, right. If there's, if there's a claw that comes with a pinch. And he looks like a scor scorpion. I don't know if he is. If you find a scorpion in a crustacean. Against Shark Cruiser. Mm, he's a little bit snout off the ground. Let's see if we have some airborne, airborne action. If Shark Cruiser flies over to the catcher and then hits on a track on the ever, you might be the winner. Oh, he's so he's so fancy going with the flip. Let's reset. Okay. We'll give him another try. Here we go. Let's see. Aw, that's a bummer. Evil Weevil definitely moves on to the next round. Looks like Shark Cruiser always noticed. Uh, he was back in front of the race in the BK's 2015. Um, in the downhill racing, same thing in the 2014. But, uh, but for Evil Weevil, he's, uh, he's always back in um, NK's 2014. Um... I don't know what is the same one. Oh well, I, I I don't think he's out with anybody else, but he's only him here by himself, by with the end case uh, track time part of the video. Well, we'll we'll have to see what he can do. Next uh, next up we got another matchup for you: off track versus high tech missile. Two blue to neck and neck car. Let's see who wins. High Tech Missile takes out off track and moves himself to the next. It's two black ones, but the new one we're talking. What's up? Versus Rip Rod. Looks like What's up was in the G case uh, 2014. I don't know what else he's in. Rip Rod, he's already in the B case in 2014 downhill racing, the free lane. But let's see which one could it be. Let's see what it is. Let's see what we have. Who will it be? Rip Rod or WhatsApp? Rip Rod or Rip Rod to WhatsApp? WhatsApp! He goes up and finds out Rip Rod going out of gassing. Wait, not out of gassing, but uh, he's uh, he's flying up in the air too. What's up? Moves on. Everybody's favorite car, Custom V8 Vega versus Twin Duction. Only Twin Duction back from 2013 Q case, but the V8 Vega was in the um, you know J case he's with the uh, he's with the super van but the next one might be interesting to check out what it is let's see oh twin Duxon just came in first before V8 Vega I think V8 Vega was pronounced called like he was also pronounced like in Las Vegas but right now uh, Right now, they don't make uh, Dale cars anymore from that one. That already happened in the past. But that means Twin Duction heads himself to the next round. Looking for a good car, we have Roger Dodger versus Slingshot. I almost forgot. Here we go. Let's see who takes it. And Roger Dodger takes out Slingshot. It's the Bone Shaker versus Horseplay.
Oh, Boneshaker flies off the track. Horseplay will head himself to the next round. It's Snoopy versus Dragon Blaster. Snoopy, he's also in J case too. Uh, well, let's see if he does it too. He might be flying off to a two just like Redbird did. And Bedlam, mm, some cars do work better and which cars don't do better. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Three, two, one. That was a little bit odd. I can't believe it. Oh, Snoopy just got off the car. Oh wait, Doghouse, same thing like Dragon Blaster. Let's bring it back here. Come on, Snoopy, get back on the horse. Get back on the Doghouse. Dragon Blaster, you do. You have to do the same thing too. Get back on the launcher. Remember Dragon Blaster? He's definitely from the C case 2014 and H case. But, um, <laughs> and I accept the different colors. See here, it's black and it was, uh, I can't forget. I forgot. Sorry. I can't remember what other color it is. Let's see what happens. Come on, Snoopy. One cartoon better to do it? Nope. Dragon Blaster moves on to the next round. Drift Rod versus Drift King. Probably noticing about Drift Rod, he's definitely a new model for 2013. But um, it definitely came from the Q case, so 2013 track time, and the F case track time assortment in 2014. But how about Drift King? He's a little bit, uh, he's a little kinger. Oh, I'm also kind of spin king looking. Well, let's see what he can do. Set! Go! That wasn't working too good. Come on. Drift Rod moves himself to the next round. Takes out Drift King. some tuned cars going here. We have is the Jetsons capsule car against the Homer. Everybody uh, everybody get ready to shout dope if he crashes. I don't know about him. He's kind of like his wheel is kind of low to the ground because he's a little bit cut off right now. I don't know about his wheels. Could he do well? I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Uh, same thing with Jetsons too. He's a little bit high up. It might be funny if he flies across from outer space. But let's see what happens. Here we go. Which two cars work better? Oh, nothing. Nothing happened. They both fly out. What the heck happened? All right, come on. Give it another shot. You better not be too tall to hit from here, from that catcher. Come on, here we go. You looking at my camera? Stop looking at my camera. Or the iPad. Don't look at my iPad. I don't, I'm watching on you. Well, Homer crashes, but the Jetson definitely has never got a chance. I think nobody won't be taking that one time. I think it's too much for these two guys. Let's bring him backwards. Jetson going flying backwards with the Homer. And the Jetson has won. Yep, he definitely got up there first before the Homer. Did you guys say dope? I think we're going to say dope. That's kind of neat. You know what? I think all cars right here, they say, don't. Yep. 
Everybody's like happening already. <laughs> they love to see the uh, meme memes about uh, Homer saying dough that time. I like to see that too. Here we got another couple cars. We have his Red Rod versus Mad Splash. Now Red Rod, he's definitely a villain from the Team Hot Wheels Origin of Awesomeness. But for the Mad Splash, he always looks like he's a shrimp. Definitely showing up from the boat. That comes out sweeping high. Let's see if he can do it. If not, Red Rod can take the win. Rev Rod, success! He definitely takes out Bat Splash. And the last battle, the Loopster versus the Speed Slayer. Well, I think the Speed Slayer is kind of low neat at the car, but the Loopster looks like a looping car. Let's see if he flies up in the air with an airtime moment. Let's find out if you can do it. Say, go! Oh, he flips upside down with the 180 Loopster. Same thing with the Speed Slayer. Well, let's give him another shot. I think the crazy backwards and the boomerang will work. But the Speed Slayer doesn't care. Here we go. Let's see which car does it. Oh, he can't make it that time. Speed Slayer will head himself to the next round. Then, yep, he takes out the Loopster. Comes out with a 180 spin. And that will do it from here. We will find out who will be facing who next right after this message. Uh, not that one. 18 minus, uh, let's go with 10. 8. That will be Twin Duction versus Maximum Leeway. And the last two will be just head on head. Uh, let's go with, uh, and yep, well, that's going to be, uh, that's what's going to be. 2 plus 2 equals 4. And for this guy, that'll be, that'll be for him. 7. Plus seven. Fourteen. On with the next round. Alright, I have this camera right now. And uh, it looks like I will set it up. Just like that. And I will make sure I have everything set up here. And then everything will be coming down right from the lane. Okay? Are you all ready? I think we're ready to start off with the second one. To meet off with the next. So, let's see what happens right now. This miniature figure is ready to go back on the race. Okay. You put it back on. Okay. I want to you make sure to stay on there. Stay on that. Stay on the vehicle. Don't let it fall off, okay? Up first, Fig Rick against Speed Slayer. Alright, everything's lined up and set up and ready to go for round number two. Let's see who will it be. Boom! Fig Rig wins! He's getting stuck on the side right now. His speed flare is gone forever. <laughs> Muscle Tone in red versus Drift Rod. Look at that! Take out the muscle tone! We go in our one right now. Nitro Tailgater versus the... Oh uh, wait, Night Shifter? Nitro Tailgater? Uh, Nitro Tailgater? Yep, you definitely get a Tailgater on the back against the Fast Feline! I don't know. We're going to have to find out. I think we need to go ahead and report some ambulance right now. Mm, let's see. Uh, I think he could crash onto a uh, Nitro Tailgater. Or fly off the course. That didn't work here. Dang this. I hate this so bad. 
Yep, you see that one coming. That speed line always uh, flies off the course with the launcher. Nitro Tailgater moves on to the next round. What's up versus Stalker? What's up ahead? Oh, Stalker just could have slammed it out of here. But it looks like WhatsApp is right underneath the track. Stalker takes out the WhatsApp part. This is going to be a heavy race. Improbably. He's definitely trying to stick it together from another one. And let's go. And me guy is like having so much fun right now. I think he could be flying like this way if he flies like like that. Like uh <laughs> this guy he could be flying like this. Uh I don't know if I can hold that one. Oh, I can. Let's see if he flies like this. I don't know. <laughs> this is hard to put it up put it on. Um I don't know I don't know if this is gonna be the right call though uh, to give us a good try. He's crazy, you know that? Because all of a sudden when he flies like he's like he's like out of nowhere because he, all of a sudden when he suddenly realized he couldn't pop something down here, you know what we could have done. I think he's a little bit more untribution. Hmm. I think he's he might fit. I I well, uh, forget it. I don't think uh, I don't think he's gonna, gonna fit right now. Yep, he won't fit. I'm gonna leave it like that. Up to his own. Here we go. Let's go versus Imperabile. Oh, uh, let's go. Takes out Imperabile, and he will move advance himself to the next round. High Tech Missile versus Cloud Cutter. Everything's lined up. Here we go. Oh, take that. Oh, Cloud Cutter crashes. High Tech Missile has got himself to another round. Here comes the big meters. Those two guys are coming to act to act faces. Roger Dodger versus Horseplay. I think I think Horseplay is trying to put a slash on Roger Dodger. Maybe Roger Dodger may not be the right car to go through. Let's see if he can do it. On the mark, get set, go. Roger Dodger wins. He definitely, oh, I think Horseplay was going to try to knock him out. But it looks like uh, Roger Dodger just cut him through. And yep, he did have it all he got. That's how you can get Horseplay. Roger Dodger moves on. A Jetsons capsule car ready to go on to fly against Brake Storm. He might fly again. Oh no! Brake uh, Storm takes out the Jetsons and it goes abandoned. Well, that's it. Brake Storm takes out, takes out the Jetsons and moves on. You're so fast versus Dragon Blaster. I'm not just going to tell you again. I don't want to see anybody saying this again. Say, who was it again? I don't want to hear that. Please. Here we go. That's not right. Oh, they, they really don't like to be uh, on top of each other. Those two guys are in a are in the end. Try again.
Redo from the top. Come on, you're so fast in Dragon Blaster. You better do it right. Here we go. You're so fast came in a set, but Dragon Blaster needs to find its way to take it out. I don't know. Here he comes. You're so fast. Not a bad chance at all. He definitely heads himself to the next round. Cloak and Dagger versus Revrod. Mostly important, I think Revrod was a little bit more better than to take the villain, but Cloak and Dagger might have another shield to go through. He has to do it again. And it looks like Revrod just sticks in one air, but Cloak and Dagger doesn't seem to care. Cloak and Dagger's out. Revrod heads himself to the next round. It's Twinduction versus Maximum Leeway. Aww, oh, Maximum Leeway doesn't really like to face forward at all. So Twinduction has already makes himself to the next round. And he's going to have to find out who wants to take out next. Here we go, we got the two red cars going up. We got the speed box in a neon color, neon lights, uh, I'm sorry, blown to dark wheels against Evil Weevil. Speed box, boom, delivers across and takes out Evil Weevil. Neat, speed box is a winner. Here are the head-to-head -head matchups coming up right after the break. Hang on. Up first, Twin Induction against You're So Fast. You're So Fast. Oh, it's came in the set. I think Twin Induction's a little, got a lot more power than, uh, than You're So Fast does. Well, I'm just getting a little bit un unused to this one right now. I don't want you to see my phone. Oh, he's a little bit battle bot. He could be off the ground. I don't know. Can you so fast do it? Let's see if he can. Here we go. Oh, Twin Duction just came here first. Yep, that was up in the air, and he definitely got punched out of. You're so fast. Definitely off the mat, off the target, and I'll be off the center here too. I'll be Twin Duction moving on to the next round. Takes out Twin du uh, You're so fast. Here's the next one. Let's go versus Rick Storm. That didn't work too good. Come on. We know the spinner doesn't work too good. Oh, Rick Storm just got a squeeze in and he definitely knocks out. Let's go as a favor. Let's go is off on the other side, but it looks like this could be a chance for a wild card. Another race matchup, the tough one. Nitro Tailgater versus Stock Car. Mm, Stock Car could be Excel X Racer series. He always gets he's got an X on the side of a car that looks like a NASCAR to me. But Nitro Tailgater, he has a tailgater that shifts out here quickly so fast. Let's see if he can stop the Stock Car. Let's see who will it be? Mm -hmm. Come on. Who will it be? Come on. 
fucking stock car! Out of here. Definitely not. Not smooth enough here for this jumper. This is off the lamp. But stock car makes a midair and he's out of gas and airborne. Nitro Tailgater moves on to the next round. Fake rig versus Drift Rod. Drift. Oh, Fake Rig is out of here. Drift Rod says no, no jumping, no figure on the board again. It's the ultimate battle test of the strength. That means Roger Dodger, he's been out here dodging here all night long against High Tech Missile. Just enough to get a missile out of a launching area to bring up again. Roger Dodger may be a little bit off the target, but High Tech Missile may be off too soon. Let's see if he can stop the car. Can it be the winner? Oh! Wow, he got stuck right there. Hey, there he is. There he is. He's right there. Look, there he is. He's right there. High tech missile. He took out the Roger Dodger. And Roger Dodger, he fell down. And last up, we have Red Rod against Speedbox. Here we go. Oh, Speedbox knocks out Red Rod. Now, here's the bad news. Now, it's time to see which wild card will be advancing to last position right here. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait, two spots for each cars to make the Elite Eight work better. Will it be you're so fast? Let's go. Stock car, Fig Rig, Roger Dodger, or Speed Box. Oops, I'm sorry. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be in here. Come on. Am I not kidding? Come on. I was getting a bit lazy right now. Should never be that. Should never be that winner. It is not the only one I was gonna expect about what which cars they're gonna be. Yep. I don't know what happened, but it definitely didn't work that much at all. Alright, so let's see what will it be. Alright, so here's the here's the plan. Last two remaining will be the winner, but the problem is there's nothing else that's going to be changing it better. If one of each car is in the two, we'll head to the next round, and one car will go with another match. Last chance. Here we go. Let's see uh, which one will it be. You're so fast against Let's Go. Let's go takes it in. Next two up, stock car versus fig rig. Boom, fig rig takes out stock car. And last two up, Roger Dodger versus Red Rod. Oh, Red Rod out of focus. Roger Dodger has it covered, and he goes up to the next round. Well, oh, not next round. Now he has to determine which winner.
Let's see. Now, this is for uh, Let's Go. He now needs to face up with the matchup. So we're going to go ahead and uh, let him be in the uh, left lane. And then the right lane will be right here. So, with that being said, that's going to be how it's going to be done. And get things right. So, let's see what it will be. It will be Let's Go versus Fig Rig. Let's see who takes the win first. If Let's Go or Fig Rig wins, then one car will face against Roger Dodger. Here we go. Oh, Fig Rig knocks out Let's Go and goes on against Roger Dodger. Alright, this is for the chance. If Big Rick wins two in a row, then Roger Dodger will have will be eliminated. Or not. I hope I would believe one car will go in and the other car will have to go for another chance. Last try. That was off. I don't believe it. And Fig Rag has it cleared, and he goes into the Elite Eight. One spot left. The last try will be on those cars once more. You're so fast versus Stock Car. Oh, Stock Car just tried to put the slice on. You're so fast. Here we go, Ref Rod against Let's Go. Oh, Ref Rod, unfortunately, will not count that in. Let's go, it's up to the last spot. Alright, this is it. Can let's go beat out Roger Dodger. Yes, he does. He takes out Roger Dodger. Now he has to take out Stock or if he wins again. This is it. One more shot for Let's Go. If he wins again, then Stalker will be eliminated. If Stalker wins, then we have a sudden death battle. Who will it be? Oh, yep. Yeah, looks like uh, looks like Stalker's out. Yep, Stalker's out. Let's go has squeezed out from this catcher and he's out of here. And now we're going to make sure which one's going to be. Let's see which one it is. Um it will be still be 7 minus 2 is five so that's gonna be high-tech missile up against four plus three equals seven high-tech missile and fake rig will be those two all right the next one um two plus one equals three that'll be hot nitro tailgater against six Minus two equals four. Hey, how how am I making sure this is going to be the only odd and even number? I don't I don't know if it's going to be the only count that I get there. Six. Uh, okay, four minus three equals one, and it will be four plus four equals eight. Oh man, 
I'm getting a little bit too much uh, radical going on, and then it will be those two Red Storm and Speed Box. Iliate will come out right after this. Iliate time! First two, the fake rig against high tech missile. Here we go. Let's see who takes a spot. High Tech Missile wins! He comes up here further closing every time and he definitely takes out the figure. Wow, that was impressive. He's making sure he lands it in the trigger and yep, he did fell off. But Fake Rig comes up to the plow to the ground. It's the Nitro Gator against the Drift Rod. Let's see who will it be. Yeah, good race here. Drift Rod takes it on to the next. I'm sorry. Semifinals. Right here. This is going to be a tough. Difficult race to induction. He's riding in here, riding in and out every time against Let's Go KK's track time. Remember him from that time? You know this one? Well, the fake miniature fake from the Lego must ride it, but it might be too soon to get here in time. But let's see if to induction could find a way. Or Let's Go will. Take out to induction! Oh no, and that's unsuccessful to come up, but the answer is to induction! Taking out, let's go! Alright, and the last two up is Rick Storm against the Speed Box. Here we go. Ready, set, go. Oh, this neck and neck hurts me. Speed Box really would have gone it better at match point. Try again. Already reset. Already launched the cars. Here we go. That's not gonna count. Come on. And looks like Rick Storm definitely gets here first. On to the semifinals. This is totally it. The semifinals and the championship winner. This is coming down to a big finale that was bringing out here for a long time. Showing you which wild card to bring in. Try to, but they got a lot of upsets going on around here. Same thing like Fake Rig and Let's Go. They had a hard time getting up here too. But now the final fours are going to be on its way to finish it off with a sweep and angle. Right now, I'm going to use the uh, the dice roller and see which one lands the number on. So let's see what will it be. First one will be two. And it's going to be Drift Rod. And he will go up against... Whoop. Cannot show you in front of the camera. Four. I'll be Drift Rod against Rig Storm. So that means High Tech Missile will go up against Twinduction. Let's see which one this is. Come on. Three and number one. There we go. This is going to be the best one. And let's get the semifinals on. Okay, now it's time for the big story. 
McNally. All right, those four, the final four, and the championship. All right, here we go. Let's get off. First up, we have his Drift Rod against Rick Storm. Car and a truck. Who will it be? Eh, that's not going to work like that. Come on. Oh, Rick Storm pulls out of here. Another storm. It pulls it in. It says, Drift Rod. I'm going to finish it all. Rick Storm moves on. And last two up, High Tech Missile versus Twin Duction. Winner will move on to take on against Rick Storm. Oh, Twin Duction got fancy already when he definitely wipes out on the course. Well, that's going to be how it's shame it is. I don't know about him, but he definitely did really well. Try to go from a right time. And now for the finals. Twin Duction against Rig Storm. Last race. For, this is for the championship. It will be between the Rig Storm and the Twin Duction. Let's see who wins it. Can it be Rig Storm the truck or Twin Duction of the car? All fans are gathering up, ready to see who wins. Here we go. Last one, go. Ah, oh, that's not how we start in the finals. That's really weird. Yeah, I hate that. That's right, Twin Duction with the win. Well, there you have it, folks. Twin Duction has made himself as the winner of the champion. And he will be right up at the top. We congratulate him for making it all the way and finishing it through. Definitely from Q Case, the 2013 uh, track time. Not just the only car that gets it better, but he gets flying out here too fast. But he does it a lot more better. And all cars from the stands are happy to see them here. And so do these cars right from the, between the launchers. I don't know what, what, what I would do that for that time. Hmm. <laughs> Anyway, I had to do it from here. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. And here's your champion table on the top. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please enjoy your cars, subscribe, and more content. And more videos are on its way soon. Thank you for watching, and Sun and Beast is out of here. Have fun with your toys. Bye-bye.